Good morning, Facebook. Happy Tuesday. It might be a little bit noisy because I'm just walking on the footpath next to the road. But we're on our way to the gym and I just I just wanted to jump on really quickly um, and send you guys this message around really what I base my entire work around. Because this, this is the truth, right? It's why I do what I do every day. If you're here joining me live, let me know that you're here. Say hi. I really just wanted to touch on, um, yeah, why I do what I do every day and the basis around my work, which is self-awareness, right? Hey, Ellen, I want you guys to become more self-aware. Now, and to stop living in the gray area in life. Now, what do I mean by the gray area? I mean the area of uncertainty, the area of fear, the area of non-commitment, the area of frustration, the area of unhappiness. I want you to get out of that area. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is to become more self-aware and to recognize, you know, are you telling yourself that you really, really want something yet you're not taking any action and you're full of excuses around it that's living in the gray area and i think a lot of you have to make that decision and determine is this something that i actually really want and then commit either way so you either do want it or you don't want it living in the gray area is saying that you want it but then not taking any action and living in excuses as to why you're not doing it. And I'm, I'm referring to anything in your life, your health, your, felt, your finances, your relationships, your business. Get out of the gray area. Become more self-aware. Understand and recognize why you do what you do. Why do you want what you want? When you're in self-sabotage, do you know why you're self-sabotaging? Do you know the stories that you're running with in that moment? When you are not calling in the wealth that you want to call in, do you know what your internal money blueprint is? Because if you have no idea, your situation is not gonna change. I always say to my clients, the more self-aware you can become, the more you're going to stop living in the gray area and you're going to start living yes or no, black or white, right? I really need you guys to understand this. The gray area is not serving you. And if you're not doing what it is you really want to do, then you need to find out why. You need to find out why you're in self-sabotage. Ask yourself questions, challenge your own thoughts, challenge your own thinking. Because far too often, I have people come to me and tell me that they want X, Y, Z, but then they don't do anything to achieve X, Y, Z, or they're stuck in their excuses and stories around why they can't have it and why they can't achieve it. That's living in the gray area. We achieve nothing in the gray area. If you really, really want something, you commit or you don't commit. That's it. That's it. There's no in between. And I give this rule to myself, guys. This is how I live and show up in my own life. I know I'm living in the gray, like I said before, if I'm living in uncertainty, um, indecision, non-action, um, procrastination, fear, whatever it is, I know that it's because I'm living in the gray. So I need to become self-aware enough to do whatever it is I need to do to get myself out of that. So this is why the basis around everything that I do and the teachings that I teach every day in the work that I do with my clients is around cultivating an obnoxious amount of self-awareness, right? That's the truth. Because when you have that, there is no, there's no room for gray. Because you commit to something that you want or you either commit to not wanting it. Does that make sense? You're welcome, Ellen. I'm glad this resonated with you. I'm gonna say that again. You either commit to something that you want or you commit to not having it. 
There is no in-between. There is no in-between. You may feel that there's an in-between. You may feel that you might half want something, but the truth is if you only half want something, then you don't actually really want it in the first place. So if there's anything that you do today and for the rest of your life, work on becoming self-aware. And if you're not sure how to do that, then reach out to people like me. Listen to the value that I give you every day. It's up here, guys. Once you know why you do what you do every day, you then have the power to show up in a way that serves you. You then have the power to remove habits and beliefs and people that don't serve you so that you can get on with it, so that you can do what is necessary, what is important. But what I really, really, really get frustrated with, and I understand it, it's when people tell me they really want to do something, but then they come up with every excuse as to why they can't do it. That's living in the gray. No success, happiness, fulfillment, wealth, health, is ever going to be created in the gray area. So determine right now, are you living in the gray area around your wealth, business, relationships, finance, health, whatever it is? Are you living in the gray area or have you committed either side? It is okay to say that you want something and it is equally okay to say that you don't want something. But you need to commit because you're not fooling anyone but yourself. You're not fooling anyone but yourself. So make a decision. Understand why you do what you do. Learn the tools. Learn the tools to becoming more self-aware and then you will start to feel more in control in a healthy way. And you may actually start getting somewhere. All right? I'm going to leave that with you guys. I hope you have an awesome Tuesday, night or day, wherever you are in the world. I'm going to go and train my butt off <laughs> and I will chat to you guys soon. Bye.